Yep, that's a better fish. Oh no, all four of them, the other one's gone as well. Oh, they're all hooked up. There's so many fish under the boat, it is going crazy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a fantastic snapper? Been pretty windy for the last two or so weeks. Today we've got a bit of a break in the weather. Fishing reports have been a bit quiet for in close, so I'm gonna push out about 60 kilometers east of the Noosa Bar to some wider water. During the change of the seasons in November to December, the inshore fishing can be tough until the pelagic show up. It's a good opportunity to head out wide to see what's in the deeper water. As usual, I stop to collect some live bait before the 70 minute ride out wide. I've arrived at my first destination. I'm seeing fish on the sound straight away. Some bait scores up high and a few archers down on the bottom. And I've got a few different rigs to fish today because I need to cover all the water column depending on what, uh, what fish I start to see on the sounder. And if I see any surface activity, I've got poppers and stick baits um, at hand. And if I want to fish the midwater through those bait schools, I've got some knife jigs. And I'm also using some live bait, soft plastic and floating pilchards to cover that bottom half of the water column. Now that I've got a soft plastic going down into that lower part of the water, I'm going to get a live bait and slowly feed it down to these fish that I can see on the sounder. So today I'm using a two hook gang rig for my liveys and I'm going to pin, pin the livey with the first hook just back in front of the dorsal fin. And then I'm going to put that front hook up through his nose. And then I'm just going to feed him down through the water column and hopefully we get something on the way down. Once my live bait was on the bottom, I deployed a knife jig as I could see a big school of fish on the sounder. Whilst trying to film the sounder with a jig in the midwater, I got a surprise hit. It was a school of snapper feeding on a bait school in the midwater and one had decided to smash my knife jig. When snapper are feeding this aggressively, they will pretty much take anything if well presented. Well that was a unusual surprise knife digging a, a snapper in the midwater. So now I've got a soft plastic out, I've got a floating pilchard out, and I'm also lifting this knife jig up and down, just waiting for another school of fish to come through the sounder. That last one was pretty massive and it was pretty, you know, an inevitable hook up if you could just get it in the right spot. Yep. Come on. Yeah, that's a better fish. <laughs> oh, I love knife jigging around these bait balls. It's so much fun. It does not get any better than this. There's a huge shell on the sounder. We've just come past that tide turn and I reckon we're going to get a good run. This fish is not far off the bottom, it's a small juvenile kingy I reckon. And I'm going to get this, there's a bunch of fish down there hanging around him too. Oh steady on boy. Ah, oh, There we go, juvenile king, or rat king as we call him, on the knife jig. And I'm going to get this guy released quickly and there's a bunch of fish below me and we'll try and get a bigger model. Massive school of bait. There's got to be some bigger fish hanging around under this school. Oh, yep. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's instant. I think that's a little bit bigger. Oh, he's got a bit of stick, this fella. Definitely a little bit bigger, this fish. Let's just keep him off the bottom and keep him away from the sharks. I haven't seen any on the sounder yet, but you never know, they're always around when there's bigger fish. Definitely fighting like a kingfish or an amberjack, this fish. Oh, I'm going to have to tighten some drag on this guy. I reckon he might have just got shark then. Ah, gone. Damn it. Right, I have your gear. I don't like losing fish like that. Yep. Yep, come on. Oh, what have I hooked this time? 
I'm a heavier gear. I should be able to get this one up. He hasn't pulled any drag yet. I don't think it's as big a fish as that last one. Could be a snapper or something feeding under that bait school. Oh, I've got a double hook up here. Uh oh, there goes the livey. We need to get that guy off the bottom. Come on, get a couple of wines on him. And then get back to this other one. Come on, oh, I've got a triple. Uh oh, I'm in trouble here. I've got three lines going off. Okay, I've got to get this fish in, it's a snapper. Oh no, it's a small amberjack. Get him unhooked quick, there's so many fish under the boat. It is going crazy. All right, we'll get him back in the water. All four lines are getting hit at the moment. It's chaos, it's quiet for 15 minutes there on the tide turn. All this other rod's gonna go, the soft plastic. Oh no, all four of them, the other one's gone as well. Oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? I gotta get this one up as fast as possible. Oh, they're all hooked up. <laughs> oh, what have I got? Okay, get the livey one up first. Put him in the holder, he's off the bottom. Work this plastic one. Oh, there's something big sitting on this. Oh, he's gonna go for a run in a second. <laughs> Come on, I'll get him off the bottom <laughs> and then I might have a chance. It feels like a snapper, this one, and it's a good fish. So I'm gonna ease him up. I'll keep this livey fish just in the holder there. He's in the midwater. He should be all right. I want to land this fish. This is a, a quality fish on the soft plastic here. Wow, that's chaotic. You just, you put four lines out in the hope that you might catch one fish and then it just goes mental like that. I've just dropped that one. Damn it. The live bait one is still hooked up. Let's get this fish in. What do we got here? I reckon we've got a snapper from the bottom. Yes, we have. And we will take that, no worries. Oh, there we go. Snapper. So out of the four-way hookup, I've got one fish to the boat so far, and I've lost one. And the other line is still hooked up over there, so I'm gonna get this guy unhooked and get that other one in. All right, we've still got a fish on this one. I'm gonna watch these hooks on the ground. Unfortunately, I lost the bigger fish that time. So I need to just have two lines out instead of four so I can just concentrate. I would say it's another snapper who's taken that floating pilchard. It is a smaller, smaller model. Goes to show everything's working at the moment. Knife jigs, floaters, plastics, and liveys. Catching fish on all four different rigs. Oh, I just hooked a good fish on the plastic. Oh, come on, don't shark me. Come on, we want this fish. Stay on. It's got a bit of run. Oh, he's a long way from home at the moment. Just gotta keep him off the bottom. Come on. Been losing a few fish today after they've been hooked. Mostly sharks, but you never know whether they've got sharp teeth and they're just biting you off in the corner of the mouth. And I just upgraded my jig head from a 21 gram to a 28 gram, because the current's picked up a bit this afternoon. And this one just got into that right depth. Must have been five, 10 meters off the bottom. I could see a few schools going through the sounder. Just a nice fish to finish the day, it would be awesome. Okay, we've got some color. Oh, I've got a feeling it's going to be a nice snapper. Come on, come on, be a nice snapper. Oh, I reckon it is. Yes, it is a cracker snapper. Oh, I'm going to get the net for this one so I don't miss it. Come on, buddy. Yes. That is a nice hard snapper. Ah, oh, let's get him out and get a look at him. Ah, oh, that is a beauty. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that a fantastic snapper? Around the four to five kilo mark. Awesome to catch on the soft plastics. And uh, they're just moving around in those schools in the 40 to 50 meter mark at the moment. And the pink plastic, once again, has done the trick. The upgrade to the one ounce jig head was all it took to get in the right zone to catch a beautiful fish like this. Snapper can be caught all year round in the deeper waters off the Sunshine Coast. If the conditions are right, it's worth doing the extra miles to catch the quality fish.